lines, and um, Art Arturus, as I'm hoping pronouncing that correctly, asked the other day, he saw my source split on the email address, and how I used an array in um, stir split to to look for multiple things and he was wondering if uh, in string does it as well unfortunately it doesn't if you look at the documentation it doesn't mention an array that's how I figured it out was not that I knew it didn't I just went and looked it up um, I think other ones you know it just depends on the the function or the command that you're running but um, what I did first off I thought I had a regular expression for it um, when I went and found it what I had was I have a regular expression where I can dump um, specific characters, multiple characters into a regular expression. And so in this one, I can look for like the pound sign, the backslash, forward slash, those you have to escape, um, a colon, an ampersand. This was for removing um, stuff from a phone number, um, the characters I don't want to have. I wanted to get it down to just the phone number. Uh, but in this example here, so you can see here's a, a backslash, here's the pound sign. Let's put in a, so let's put in a question mark. I guess the period would have been um, removed as well. Uh, and I put in a, a less than sign, a greater than sign. So it, as many characters as you want, but when I run this, so it, it removed those from there, right? And actually what I also noticed the first time I ran this, um, I'm gonna put in space and it, and it also, okay, I must've had the space in a different spot. Oh, there we go. So it got rid of the spaces as well, right? Um, anyway, pretty cool function. Not not what we needed here, but um, I just wanted to say like it was pretty cool. So let me comment these out. Now let's get back to the original goal. Um, so all I did was I took the text um, and I said, hey, let's let's dump that into a for loop and say here's one word that we want to look for and here's the second and let's do one more. Right. So now it's going. Anytime it finds it's going to iterate over and there's a key value, right? So the key is the index. So it'll be the first, first, second, third, because there's three items in our array. Um, and then it's going to do this logic and look in text and look for V, which is in this case, the value I can, I can, the way these things work, right? I can put value, oops, value here, but that means I have to change it here and change it here, right? So if it finds, in the value the first time this it's going to say oh is the in string is the value there in the text yes it is and then it's going to put it up here found value um on um key time through there we go so when i save this and reload it so found this on the first time through that was the first index right because it's here the second one we're going to be looking for the so if i hit okay okay so i found the on the second time through and and i found i'm on the third time through so basically we're just we dumped it into an array and then we iterated over it um to, to look for things granted we don't need you know the vast majority of this so this would go away and then basically you'd, you'd go back and use whatever you were trying to do right here um and you'd have to encapsulate everything in this, probably, because I'm going to guess you have multiple lines. So you would dump it in here, and you'd have your text here. If it's found, this is what's going to happen, right? But um, I just thought I'd, I'd document that real quickly, because working with arrays or not used to them are, are interesting. Um, they take a little while to get used to, um, arrays and objects. But boy, once you do, they, they open up the world to a lot of stuff. Um, I, I love the, the 4K loop. I, I use that a, every chance I can. It's just there's some, some good benefits to it. I have a video on that somewhere, I believe. Anyway, hope that helps. See ya.